Sorry. But this is no time for television, Rex. Gotta say, that Giga's pretty impressive. Really? I like his aura most. Woody, <laughs> <laughs> what gives? Shh. Are they back? Shh. All right, guys. Today we teach those mask intruders who's boss. Is everybody in position? Wait, hold on. I don't think I'm emotionally prepared. Would you calm down? Don't worry, I got you covered. It's go time. What in the world? Where are we? Hmm? Oh my gosh! Have we been shrunk? And... and look at us! You know what the magic is for? We have to protect the world order! Border? I said order! Gorge! Hmm? Who's gonna protect the order from them? Headless! Okay, we go on three. One, two. Wait! Uh. What are you doing? Who are those guys? Wait! Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, you look familiar! Huh? I know this. What? You're, uh, uh, you're, uh. You're Zora. Huh? My name's Sora. Oh. <laughs> Stay back. For all we know, the intruder yeah, said. Zora. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Slow down there, Rex. We don't know them. But we can trust them. They're the number one selling heroes in the country. Yeah. And his mom <laughs> must have bought him for him. Ham's right. Did you see how easily they took care of the intruders? I bet they're here to figure out why all our friends have gone missing, and why Buzz's laser started actually lasering, and had all the weird stuff that's been going on. I mean, that's what heroes do, right? Let's not jump to conclusions. Hmm. Gotta be smart, Woody. So you're Andy's new toys? Toys? <laughs> You sure did a number on those intruders. Those are the heartless. The bad guys. We've been fighting against those intruders for a while. I knew it! <laughs> hmm. Okay. Huh? In that case, you're all right by me. My name's Woody. Put her there. Hey. Now hold on. I'm Sora. You're Sora! <laughs> Actually, my name's Sora? Oh, I'm Goofy. And I'm Buzz Lightyear. Call me him. It's a real honor. And I'm Rex. I'm your biggest fan. In fact, I've been playing your game for months now. And I've already gotten you all the way up to level 47. But that Bahamut boss is really tough. Slinky and I can't figure out how to beat him. Oh, I wish Slinky and the others were here. They'd be so happy to meet you. All troops, at mm -hmm. attention, sir! Huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Strangers... from the outside... Uh -huh. Welcome... They're all toys? So that's why we look the way we do. Huh? Excuse me. You said that you've battled those intruders before. Tell us where and why. Oh, well, uh, we are... Dada! No. Well? 
You must have come from somewhere. Hmm. Take it easy, Buzz. What matters is that they got those intruders out of our way for at least a little while. No need to interrogate them. Yeah, Buzz. Woody's right. Noted. But still. Hey, mm -hmm. have those intruders, the Heartless, been a problem around here? No. They just showed up a little while ago. In fact, those Heartless materialized right after all of our friends up and vanished. You don't think. Well, gee, it can't just be a coincidence. Mm. It wasn't always this lonely. One day we woke up and we were the only toys left here. Nobody's heard from Mom, Molly, or Andy. <sighs> we keep waiting for Andy to come home. You really care about him. Yeah. He's the best friend that toys like us could ever hope to have. All right. We better start looking. Huh? Have you got any clues we can go on? Any other strange things that happened? Well, hmm. Hmm. There's one thing. <laughs> one big thing? Huge, sir. What thing? After everyone went MIA. The intruders didn't come alone. They arrived with a guy wearing a hood dressed in black just like you. As a matter of fact, he's the only other toy we've seen outside of you three. A black hood? <gasps> but that would mean... The organization! You know who it is? <sighs> yeah, they're bad news. Seems like you have a lot of enemies. We may have a hunch what's causing all the weirdness. Would you mind if we handle this? I'm sorry, but we're not going to leave this to you. Huh? If that guy had something to do with our friends vanishing, then he's our problem too. We've got to work together. <laughs> right. <laughs> so then, where can we find that guy? Sarge, any word from the recon team? The latest reports place them in town, sir, at Galaxy Toys. Then Galaxy Toys is where we're going. Sora, mm -hmm. follow me. It's out the window and down the roof. Not so fast, cowboy. Hmm? You seem pretty gung-ho about going. But shouldn't we stay here and wait for Andy? Well, you've got a point, but we've tried waiting. Look, if we go with Sora, we might find a clue. Are you with me, Buzz? <laughs> of course. Okay, let's move out. We're here! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey. oh. oh. Hey, why doesn't that toy move? I guess it hasn't figured it out. Figured what out? I can make it move for you. Uh -huh. You're from the dream! The first of the Xehanorts! I'm so honored you remember me. Oh no! He can move! Way cool! Look out! One heart's shadows fill the emptiness of another. See how they bring him to life? Like heartless and nobodies, they fit together. Enough! Why are you doing this? There's a darkness we are missing and must reclaim. The way hearts connect in this world can provide us with a clue. So we made a copy of the world, and then pulled those hearts apart. Hmm? I wonder how you'll handle the strain. Wait! 
What does that mean? Don't let me down. Well, oh, 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 oh no, buddy, what is going on? Is this boy a friend or foe? I think we've got our answer. Yeah! If the Heartless know how to do it, there's no reason you can't! Do what? Huh? Brilliant! I'm on it! Yeah! He was being controlled? He wasn't just switched into battle mode by accident? Buzz? It's nothing. I'm confused. Hmm? That guy in the black coat, did he say he made a copy of the real world? What's that mean? It probably means they split this world in two. Your friends in one world, us in the other. Only one of the worlds is real. And the other is just really convincing. You can't be serious. Oh, that's right, you're from a video game. <laughs> well, maybe in your game that's how things work. But here in reality, you can't split worlds. Uh -huh. well, this is ridiculous. No, I... huh. Woody, let's go. I admit, it does sound just a little far-fetched. <laughs> But, say we have been taken to some kind of alternate world. That would explain why your laser's real. And is it really that crazy? Worse than evil emperors and protecting the galaxy? Any of that ring a bell? <clears throat> Point taken. But that just means these strangers are part of the delusion. And I say it's time we parted ways and went home. Thought we were friends, not strangers. <laughs> Look, I get that it seems weird, but we know something's wrong with this place. We should stick together. Sora's right. They helped with the intruders, so they might help find our friends. They have been there for us so far. You can't deny that. Come on. Every toy deserves a fair shake. Am I right? Tell it to that toy over there. Hmm. Sheriff, sir! Huh? Rex has just been dino-napped! What's that? Uh -huh. My men saw him get hauled up to the second floor, sir! And Ham and the aliens are MIA! Come on! We have got to find them! Please, let us help! Yeah! Well, Buzz? Do you really think we can save our friends on our own? We didn't get very far before. We gotta take all the help we can get. Don't worry. Hmm? Sora can be reckless. What? And Donald grumbles a lot. It's true. Right. But you can trust him. <laughs> it's true. Huh? He does? <laughs> See, they don't seem bad. Am I right, Buzz? Okay, fine. We do need the extra help. But just so we're clear, I remain skeptical about this. I'll work with you till we find our friends. Okay. Thanks for the help, Sora, Donald, Goofy. My troops will return to the field, huh? sir! This ascent is going to be rather tricky. Too bad we're not strapped to a rocket, huh? <laughs> hey! Think we could use that? Oh. It's perfect! Come on, guys! 
Wow. Oh, oh. Look in there. Oh. Wow. Okay. Huh. Rex! Where'd he go? You sure you saw him? Yes. He just... Shh. Do you guys hear something? Hmm. What's that? Oh. Something feels wrong. Oh! <laughs> Another toy's being controlled! Buzz, you sure? If it wanted to play nice, then it should have stayed away from my friends. Nice moves, Rex. That was great. Great? Really? Would you say I was impressive? Very impressive, Rex. We couldn't look away. Hooray! Oh, that makes me so happy. Were you watching too? Did you see what I did? I was going to hear some, Listen, but I think Rex, I might have actually achieved you... something close to Earth to Rex. Do you know where the others were taken? What do you mean? Did something bad happen? Back to square one. Oh, great. Huh? Sarge, have you got a status report? Sir, one of my men just located Ham, forward of our position, in babies and toddlers. <sighs> the corporal was debriefing him, but something must have gone wrong. All radio contact has been lost. <clears throat> Anything more specific we can go on? Right before I lost contact, I heard music with some sort of sonic interference. Music? You think it could be the Heartless? What if it's another big monster? Let's find out. I agree. Actually, I think I'll head back and wait by the entrance. I'm sure those vents are going to be much too narrow for my big dinosaur tail. Really? I'm sure you'd fit. Oh. Rex is right. Besides, we need a lookout at the entrance. It's an important mission. Can you do it? Yes, sir! <laughs> this is babies and toddlers. Where do you guys think we should start? Sarge, didn't you mention music? Affirmative, Goofy! Hmm... All right. Why don't we look for things that make noise? Sure! That's contented for you! What do you mean, for me? Hey, where are you... Tunnel? <laughs> I think they really are good guys. Well, you wouldn't have trusted them otherwise. Don't! And I know that your trust is a hard-earned treasure. Hmm. Well, for all our sakes, let's hope you're right, cowboy. I'm willing to give him a chance at least for a little while longer. Especially if it means getting Andy and our friends back. Agreed. Come on, Sora. You've never used a record player? <laughs> Huh? Like this! Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> what? It's working! What? Wait, did that sound off to you? I did! Huh? Yeah, hey! Sora! There's some kind of strange noise coming from the orchestra! 
got it! Woody, you keep the record going. Whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. Something seems to be stuck in this tuba. I'll get it out. Oh. Almost got it. There! Corporal! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You alright, son? Uh, yes, sir. That's the soldier Sarge lost contact with. So, you found Ham? Yes, but while I was radioing in, a giant hand grabbed me, and it stuffed me in there. They must have taken Ham to another location. We have to hurry. Wait, Corporal. You're not fit for action. But Sarge... Your tour is over, son, and it's all right. Our trusted allies will take over. <laughs> I will move the Corporal to a safer location. Good luck, gentlemen. <laughs> huh? Hey, 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 hey! What is going on? Oh, right! Woody! Mission complete! Uh, uh, why didn't you tell me a little sooner? Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, there's no time to rest. Oh. Ham yeah. needs us. Uh, 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 uh. 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 Talk about cabin fever. Uh, Thanks for the save. You okay, Ham? Yeah, aside from being locked in, the accommodations are fine. Ah, uh, why not tell the little house? Whoa! Uh -huh. Who is... Uh, 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 What's uh, wrong? Uh, she's back! That's uh. the doll that big fed me! Ham, take cover. Uh, copy that. One stay in the dread and breakfast was enough for me! Not another possessed toy. Guys, look alive! <laughs> enough! Hang on! You Go time! Oh yeah! Wait, mm -hmm. what if we end up just like her, forgetting ourselves and attacking each other? No way, Buzz. That won't happen. No way! You guys are too strong! You can't be sure! Uh, what if I get taken over then attack you? Buzz, you're overthinking it. Yeah. The Heartless, the Darkness, can only creep in when our hearts falter. Trust me, you'll be fine if you don't lose heart. Well, that's good. Because I know you, Buzz. You'll never lose heart when it comes to your friends. True enough, cowboy. Sorry to have worried you all. No problem. Now, <laughs> let's go find the others. <sighs> A flying saucer! I think I know who that might lead us to. Come on, guys! <sighs> Yeah. <clears throat> 
Hey, Woody. Uh, I just slow you down with all the loose change I'm carrying. I'll hang by the entrance. No problem. Be safe, Ham. Yeah. Hey, thanks, buddy. You just take care of your old self. Now, let's follow that UFO. Right! right. They have come for us. The mystic portal awaits. Oh, no! Wait! Stop! Farewell! It's getting away! <laughs> Don't go! We are back! Our ship is no more! Nirvana will not be reached. Oh. Sorry I trashed your ride. Fear not. We still have our new home. The Chamber of Andy. They're right. This isn't where we belong. We've been in this toy store long enough. It's time for us to go home to Andy's room. But Xehanort told us that room isn't even his real room. Can you prove that any of that nonsense is true? Oh. And even if that Andy's room is fake, it doesn't mean he's not somewhere in this world with us. I'm going home to wait for him. No more debate. You with me, Woody? Hmm. You're right, Buzz. Now that we're all accounted for, we should meet up at the entrance and go home. Okay. We could have used friends like you for the final showdown. But Organization 13's our problem to solve. Yeah, I can take him. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, can we see you off? That would be great. Sarge, roll call. Sir, yes, sir. Roll call. All toys fall in. Sarge, army men times four. Ham, aliens, one, two, three. Wait, where's Rex? Eh, he took off. Said he wanted to prove to you you could trust Sora. He's up there by the video games. <sighs> well, here we go again. Huh? This is about us? <laughs> He's not safe. The Heartless are out there. You're right. Sora, Donald, Goofy, any chance you could help us one last time? Sure! Right. Thanks, guys. Hooray! Look! Oh. <laughs> look, look! I found it! Uh. See, Sora? Well, I never looked this good. The clothes kind of match. Huh? Hmm? What do you know? They are video game figures. See? I told you, Buzz. They're toys, just like the rest of us. <laughs> well, I suppose. Donald, I thought your magic decided how I look. Explain. Say, Riku would make a great action figure. No, it's me. I've got the black clothes and, uh... So what? All right, everyone. Now that we're back together, it's time to return to Andy's room. Now? But can't I at least check the strategy guides? I want to know how to beat Bahamut! <sighs> Next time. Oh. Right now, we need to go oh. home. Oh, but you needn't rush off. 
Huh? Say a Nort. I have more to observe. I can't let you leave yet. It's us that you really want. Leave the others out of this. <laughs> you would say that, Champion of Light. Very well. Let's skip to the final stage. <gasps> Buzz? What's the matter? <gasps> Come on, Buzz. Quit fooling around. Look out! I can't believe it. Buzz has been taken over? <laughs> what did you do to him? <sighs> I thought I made it clear. I am testing the strength of their bonds. In this world, toys have hearts. And those hearts come from a powerful bond. So what happens when those bonds are stretched to their limit? When they are worlds apart, can cloth and plastic hold on to their hearts? All I needed was a wedge to widen the divide. Someone like you to fill them with distrust and doubt, and that chasm you created can be filled with a vast darkness. Witness it for yourself. Do something! On my way! Not this time. Where am I? Haven't you heard? Oh. In this world, you come from a video game. So now you can watch my experiment from inside that screen. That is, if you manage to find a moment's rest. There's got to be a way out. Buzz? Woody? Hang on! <laughs> Sora! You alright, Sora? Yeah, I'm just fine. And you? Oh. Wait, where's Buzz? <sighs> he disappeared into a dark corridor. Oh. Sora, how do we get him back? I don't know. My power won't open those. <sighs> sir, did I hear you say Dark Corridor? That's right, Sarge. Any ideas? Well, it might be a long shot, but we've sighted a shadowy portal in the Kid Corral. We can infiltrate from a window inside babies and toddlers. I'll head there and get it open. Sarge, you're a lifesaver! You guys in? Yeah! yeah! Please promise you'll bring Buzz home. With batteries included? Journey safely. Farewell. Don't worry. <laughs> We're going to get our friend back. I'm done. How are we going to reach that? Well, there are some more blocks here. A cactus? Yep, and it's our way up to the dark corridor. It looked like this? Yep. <laughs> Here goes. Nort. What do you want with my friend? Look, such tremendous darkness. All because he was ripped away from the boy who cares about him most. Does that mean... we'll all be like Buzz? If we don't find Andy? Wrong! Distance doesn't matter. 
Andy's part of their hearts, just like my friends are part of mine. Mm-hmm. You can't rip that apart. Huh. What? Your friends are your power? <laughs> How very true. But if the light of friendship is a form of power, the darkness of being alone is a power even greater. Darkness is the heart's true nature. <sighs> Whatever you're talking about, I don't care. Put Buzz back the way he was, then get lost. Or else what, Toy? Yeah. I am a toy. And a friend. My guess is no one's ever loved you before. Because you know nothing about hearts and love. There are hearts all around us, trying to connect. Your loneliness only made Woody and Buzz's connection stronger. That's the heart's true nature, to never, ever let go. Wherever they are, Andy and the other toys haven't let go either. Yeah. You can't keep us from Andy. We're going home no matter what. And taking Buzz. Xehanort, you're so caught up in finding the shadows, you forgot about the light that cast them. No. <laughs> Woody, now! Giddy up, partner. We gotta get this wagon train a moving. Woody. Wait, how did I get here? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Maybe somebody switched you into dark and stormy mode. But I don't have a... <sighs> hmm? <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Woody. Good to have you back, Buzz. We can't hold him much longer! Don't give up, guys! <laughs> so, even empty puppets can be given strong hearts. I am going to have to remember that. Remember this. Our hearts will always be connected to Andy's. No matter what you do. And that's something you'll never understand. Because you're hollower than any toy. But now I know a heart can be placed in the vessel of our choosing. For that, let me give you a parting gift to play with. Wait! Find the hearts joined to yours. Huh? <coughs> there! Careful! Whoa! Here goes! Yeah! 
So Xehanort got away again. Yeah, he's a big kitten. I'm sorry. What? Hmm? I wanted to get you back to the real world. <sighs> it does seem that we're trapped here. We'll never get home. Yeah, stuck like pigs. Our position appears fixed. Oh, no! Oh. A shame we'll have to stay a little longer. With our new best friends. Huh? After all the adventures we've had, we're not quite ready to say so long. <laughs> you guys... I'm sorry that I was being so stubborn. Please forgive me. Hey, you were just looking out for your friends. No biggie. Yeah, somebody's got to be the sensible one. Huh? Especially since Woody's always getting in trouble. Gorsh, that sounds a little like Sora, don't it? Huh? Yeah, I love the dependable one. Like Buzz. Kinda. <laughs> 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 Besides, if we do go back to the real world, we'll never see you again, right? Oh. But what about Andy? You care about him so much. Oh. And he's still right here with us. Oh. If we follow our hearts, we'll find them again. <laughs> yeah. So, Sora, are you going after the guy in the black coat? Something tells me we can't join you on that mission. That's okay, because you become part of our hearts. Oh. So let us become a part of yours. <laughs> 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 Thank you! Now, off you go! To infinity and beyond! You had to remind me? Well, oh, gorge. We just want to help keep you motivated. I was thinking about Roxas. He's trapped here in my heart. But he needs a body to be himself again. Well, don't worry. Yenzo's working on a way to get him free. I'll bet you he's got the perfect body all lined up. Yeah. You've got the gummy phone, Sora. Why don't you try giving him a call? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, why not? Oh, hiya, Sora. Your you majesty! majesty. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, hey, what? Wrong number? No, Rico and I are visiting Radiant Garden. Actually, we were just about to call you guys, but it looks like you beat us to the punch. Sora, is something wrong? I wanted to pick your brain. In order for us to recomplete Roxas, he needs a body, right? 
Yeah, to put his heart in. Hmm. Huh? Replicas. Huh? Well, replicas are basically human. Oh, uh, what? Oh, yeah. You wouldn't remember. The previous Organization 13 developed replicas, realistic vessels to place hearts in. They're so real, in fact, that you'd actually mistake them for people. And with hearts, the replicas will become people. Cool. But if we get our hands on a replica, will Roxas look like himself when he's recompleted? Yup. The replica takes the form of the heart inside it. That's perfect! I'll talk to Ienzo. He was in the organization back then, so he might know more. Great. Thanks. Wait. Do you guys think they're after replicas too? Nope, they definitely said a black box. Who's that? The organization and Maleficent. Oh, oh. Huh, it's okay. But there's something you guys should know about one of their members. Huh? So let the rest of us worry about Roxas and Namine for now. You journey on and keep an eye out for Terra. No, 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 no. Stop that! <laughs> <laughs> they don't change, do they? Nope, that's their best quality. Well, we gave Merlin the vestments for Kyrie and Axel. Let's go stop by Ansem the Wise's study. Right. Are you sure this box with the Book of Prophecies is for reals? Yeah, I think that dig batted black was pulling your leg. Be quiet and dig, you imbecile. I must find that book of prophecies and make it my own. His was the only clue we have. We cannot afford to dismiss it without a thorough investigation. I'm just saying a shot in the dark ain't gonna get us any closer to... Whoa! What is it? Have you found something? Show it to me at once, fool! Yes, sir, easy. This has got to be that Pandora's box Hades mentioned. Leave it. What? After all that digging? That is not the box which I desire. We are finished with this world. Come. No. May your heart What's wrong, Riku? Are you tired? Do you need a break? We can stop. No, just... I've been here. I should know this place. But that all seems like another life. Well, gee, uh, think of all you've seen. All the feelings you've felt. Why, you've done years of growing in almost no time at all. I remember my first time here. I was so scared. <sighs> but now my doubts and fears are gone. If anything, I feel exhilarated. And it's not because there's darkness in me. I know too well what that rush is like. This is different. And it's not adrenaline either. I know Aqua needs us, but I'm ready. I'm in control now. 
Maybe it's because you're with me this time. Mm -mm. It's not me. I think it's because you finally found inside you that special strength to protect what matters. What? Sometimes you care so much for somebody that other feelings disappear. And then there's no room for fear or doubt. Is that it? Strength to protect what matters. It reminds me of a promise I made. To who? Just someone I once met. Can't tell. Sounds like a good memory. Yeah. <laughs> While we're reminiscing, Mickey, does any of this look familiar? Uh, sort of. But the realm of darkness has changed since I was here with Aqua. Yeah, it's different from what I remember. Usually, I'd just follow my heart, and Aqua would show me the way. But the closer I get, the hazier our connection feels. You mean... Maybe, but we can't give up hope. Yeah. This beach. It's gone. Huh? I'm positive Aqua was here. But now, her trail's gone dim. I've been here too. With Sora. Really? This is where we found our way back to the Realm of Light. Hey, maybe Aqua did too. Aqua has fallen into an even darker abyss. Somewhere I can't see her. And I don't think we're equipped to dive any deeper than we already are. So then... <gasps> oh no! What? Riku, be careful. Even the least threatening Heartless are stronger in this realm. I got it. Somebody needs me. Who are you? Uh. Riku? Wake up! Riku! <sighs> are you okay? Where'd the Heartless go? I got more than half of them, and the rest vanished. But they spit you out first. Ugh, thanks. I owe you. I know you feel invincible, but we're not. Are you all right, Mickey? Yeah, thanks to the new gear. But your Keyblade... Oh. Ha <laughs> 
Hmm. The Heartless here are stronger than what we expected. I guess we probably should have powered up our Keyblades before we came in here, huh? I think we need to go back to Master Yen's Hit's tower so we can regroup. But Aqua's still down here alone, facing enemies like that. I know. What if she's feeling as scared and alone as I felt the first time I came here? How long are we supposed to keep her waiting in this awful place? But Aqua... She's like Sora! What? No, 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 no! Strong like Sora! Oh... <sighs> Okay. Good. Then I guess she's gonna be alright. Sora could fall into any darkness and swim his way out. Besides, we won't be long. Right. <clears throat> huh? Can't use this Keyblade anymore. Might as well leave it here. For the other me. What? I see. You could not regain your strength. Ah, uh, no biggie. I still learned a lot. Regardless, Sora, you will need the power of waking. Oh. Oh. It can't be gone forever. Maybe something will trigger it real soon. Like what exactly? I know. How about a bite on the head? Hey. Perhaps it could be something that is as simple as that. Wait, you think so too? Whenever you are in need, magic happens. That is your greatest strength, Sora. You make it sound like an accident. <laughs> Whoa! Huh? We're back, Master! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, hey, wow! You guys are all here! We were here before, but you didn't wait! Hey there, fellas! So, what have you three been up to? We were visiting... Oh. And to figure out how to get all of Sora's lost powers back! But, it was a big disappointment! Oh, what a shame. But, honestly... We didn't fare any better. Did you manage to figure out where Aqua is? Cause Master Yen Sid said that's why you fellas left. Oh, what the heck? Come on! Can I finally say something? We know Master Aqua made it as far as the beach that Sora and I once visited. But that's where her trail ends. Meaning? All traces of her vanish into the Great Abyss. Beneath the Realm of Darkness. She's dead? No. Sora was dragged into the Abyss during his exam. And I went in after him. So I think if we find someone who is really close to Aqua, and they make the dive, they could reach her down there. I'm not sure who's even left to ask. Ventus is hidden, and Aqua's the only one who knows where. Plus, nobody's seen Terra in ages. Aqua was the last. So Aqua... She's gonna be the key to finding all three. 
Yes, their teacher, Master Ericus, would have been another possibility. Had Xehanort not mercilessly struck him down. I'll save her. Huh? huh? <laughs> but Sora, that's gonna be super hard since you don't have the power of waking. Huh? Sorry. I have no idea why that just popped out. Well, it was pretty convincing. Yeah. Better not let us down. Mm. Sora, you must focus on regaining your lost power of waking. Miki and Riku, I recall that Master Aqua journeyed to many worlds and connected with others who could be the link we need. Good plan, sir. Riku and I will retrace her steps and see if we can find any sort of clues. But first... Hmm? We got hit pretty hard in the Realm of Darkness. My Keyblade was damaged, and the Heartless broke Riku's clean in half. So... We're gonna need to get replacements before we can continue. In that case, rendezvous with Kairi and Lee. They are continuing their training under the tutelage of the wizard Merlin. Yes, sir. Also, I would like you to deliver these for me. Are they? Yes, they are the same as the ones I gave you. Special vestments to shield Kairi and Lee from the darkness. We got him! What? No fair! What about my outfit, Master? Sora, don't bug him like that! I think I'll trigger it. Settle down. I have new clothes for you too, Sora. Yeah? A gift from <laughs> the good fairies. Huh? I knew you'd come through for me! Thanks! Those are no ordinary garments, Sora. <sighs> Like before, they have very special powers, so it took extra time to prepare them. In addition, there is a <laughs> gift from Chip and Dale inside. Cool, okay! <laughs> Happy now? Yep! Now, you are all ready to proceed. Hey, wait! Don't forget about me! Jiminy! Every journey worth going on needs a cricket to keep track of it. And I can't let you start this one without old Jiminy Cricket by your side. The whole team's back. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Now to mark the beginning of a new journey. I wish for you to have this, Sora. Huh? Okay. That is a heart binder. Think of it as a good luck charm made just for you. <gasps> you have a gift, Sora, for connecting with others. And this makes that gift stronger. It's time to go! Oh? May your heart be your guiding key. See? Mm. a break, okay? I told you, these things take time. Gorge, is it just me? Or is this turning into a routine? Huh? Uh... What? It's coming from you, Sora. Huh? Uh... What's this? But I don't know how. Maybe this. Hooray! He picked up! Huh? Dale? Hey, Chipper! I finally got him! Hurry up, Chip! <laughs> well, it's about time! Chip? You gotta answer the phone, Sora! Or we can't give you updates! 
We got lots and lots of important stuff we want to tell you. That's why we asked Master Yen Sid to make sure you got this gummy phone we made you. So we'd be able to stay in touch with you at all times. And it takes pictures. Oh, you finally finished it. Say, with this gummy phone, we can talk to each other across worlds. In fact, I might even try writing my journal on it. Wow. Sounds like it's pretty handy, guys. So, what's so important? This. Back when you and Riku quested through the sleeping worlds, Riku recovered some secret research data that Ansem the Wise hid inside you. Ansem's code! Mm-hmm. We've been working our tails off trying to crack it and see what it says. The data has been encrypted, so we've only deciphered some of it. Huh? Oh. I guess we haven't spoken since the castle. I'm Ienzo. Alias is here too. Alias. Whatever's between you and Roxas, it's in the past. <sighs> Zora, the reason we're here is because you and your friends defeated our nobodies, thereby recompleting us. We cast off our hearts by choice, make no mistake. But we didn't know that Xemnas, or rather, Xehanort, was deceiving us. Huh? Xemnas? Oh, he's with them! Not anymore. Xemnas and Xehanort have no hold over us now. We're just students of the heart. Exactly the same as we were before all of this began. Yeah, right. Hmm. But you know, now that I think about it, Axel's on our side now. We have friends we want to bring back to this world just the same as you. To do that, we have to work together. In that spirit, Sora, we found some intriguing data in the bit of code we deciphered. Is it about me? Yes. In order to piece your memories back together, our teacher, Ansem the Wise, took a close look at your heart. And what he found is that your heart doesn't belong just to you. It doesn't? Gorge, you don't seem surprised. Yeah. Honestly, I suspected as much. There's another heart inside mine. I think it's Roxas's. Just like Namine is still inside Kyrie's. Interesting. Well, no one knows your heart better than you. To be honest, we still have a plethora of questions on our side. But the idea has merit. It's incredible enough that you and your nobody are able to coexist. If you share a heart, no wonder someone as remarkable as you caught Ansem the Wise's eye. We'll keep investigating based on your hypothesis. I'll be in touch. Okie dokie. We'll give you fellows a ring if there's anything else. Remember, me and Chip, the guys at Radiant Garden, and King Mickey and everybody are never far away. And Jiminy, would you do us a favor? Teach Sora how to use the gummy phone? Leave it to me. I have to find Roxas and save him. The others are following Aqua's heart. So I'll follow Roxas's heart. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trust the guidance that your heart gives you, Sora. That's what Master Yen Sid said. Wow! <laughs> oh, that's easy. Yeah. Gorge, we forgot to fill Master Yen Sid in on what happened. 
Should we go back? Hmm. You mean about Maleficent and Zigbar? No. The others have already got enough on their plates as it is. Why go stressing them out? The three of us know how to handle a couple of old adversaries, right? Yeah, I guess. But doesn't that thing Pete said bother you? The black box? Come on, we're talking about Pete. That means it's probably no big deal. Oh, I don't know. Oh, cool! The trams are still here! So, uh, it hasn't been that long. Feels like it. Maybe you're feeling what Roxas feels because he misses home. Mm-hmm. Actually, I ran into Roxas in the Sleeping Worlds. It was like seeing into his heart for the first time. And he was in the data stamp, too. Uh-huh. It was a test to see if your data version was ready to face the hurt that you carry inside. Was I ready? I do know hurt. When I lost Riku and Kairi, and later when I lost the Keyblade, and you guys had to go on without me like that? Having no one to turn to was the worst kind of hurt, but that just shows how much you mean to me. Carrying around a little hurt can't be all that bad. Hurting is part of caring. He sounds like Dinosaur again. Of course. Any Sora is still Sora. So wait, if Roxas feels something, then we're in the right place. Roxas, I'm gonna find you. What is that? Nobody's! Try this! Yeah, see ya! was that voice? I know I heard it. I didn't hear it. You sure it wasn't the wind? Or something else? I'm pretty sure. Where'd they come huh? from? Get the ice cream later. Oh. <laughs> what? Hold up. See? Voices. New ones? <laughs> What? Hainer? Pence! Olette! <laughs> what? what is that? <laughs> hey! Sora! Hello, goodbye! <laughs> oh. Go! We got this!
Nice fighting. Thanks, Sora. Hainer, Pence, Olette, it's been ages. What? It hasn't been that long. Yes, hey. Donald, Goofy, how are ya? We're good. Howdy there, Olette. So does this mean that weird stuff's going down again? Are you kidding, uh. Pence? When have we ever seen a tornado of shadowy blobs before? It's not weird. This is under-precedented! Hmm, I guess it is. The creatures from the last time were bright white. These things must be new. Man, I can't wait to get to sleuthing. We're already done with the school project, silly. Whatever's going on, you wouldn't be here unless you had a good reason. Which is? Well, actually, we're looking for Roxas. Roxas? <sighs> That's funny. I don't know any Roxas, mm. but the name sounds familiar. Maybe we bumped into him somewhere. Uh, that's one way to put it. Actually, he might have been friends with another version of you. Hmm? This photograph. Yeah, we've got the same one. Oh yeah, the other Twilight Town. It's like one of those Spot the Differences puzzles, except really easy. I guess in that town, we're friends with this Roxas person. Sora, let us help you track Roxas down. <laughs> really? Sure, he seems like a pretty cool guy. <laughs> yeah. 
he is. Great, then let's all go ask around town. If alternate us knew Roxas, then maybe alternate other folks did too. Mm -hmm. Sora, you three should go to the place in the photo. It's the old mansion. The three of us will cover places in town. Thanks. Oh yeah, I got this phone thingy that takes pictures. <laughs> Wanna snap a photo while we're all here? Sure, that's a great idea. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? Wait, who's taking it? Oh. Hmm. Mm. Hey, tough luck. You drew the short straw. It's okay. Oh, I'm sitting out of the photo with you, Donald. Can you take the photograph? <laughs> Everybody smile! <laughs> wow, that came out great. Oh, a lucky emblem. Lucky emblem? Oh yeah, they are huge right now. Supposedly, these things are hidden all over town. And if you get a picture of them, they'll bring you good luck. Cool. <laughs> Wait, look guys, is that... Uh, you're right. I see it too. <laughs> I knew it. Good luck, because they're not all this easy to find. Okay, we better start asking around. You start by checking out the old mansion. We'll catch up. Got it. So, <laughs> yeah. What do you think they're up to? Uh -huh. hmm. Look! On that branch! The Heartless have him surrounded! Oh no! What's that? Yeah! Making it easy for us. Well, take care. Whoa! 
Oh, what? What is? Whoa! 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 Lucky! That little feller's parked on your head. Huh? Would you cut that? Uh, whoa! Huh? Sarah, you've been hijacked. You know, maybe he wants you to pick up the fruit for him. Mm, okay, that's fine, but I can do it by myself. I just need to collect the fruit? Right then. So, what are you gonna do with all this anyway? Huh? Hmm? Uh -huh. Oh. Well, okay. You be careful going home. Bye -bye. See you around! Next stop, the mansion. Yeah. Whoa. I know what to do. Door up. Whoa. Go get him. Oh. Yeah. See it, that building up ahead. What do you think, guys? This place is even creepier than I remember. Well, they do say that this mansion is haunted. <sighs> hey there! Uh, uh, ah! Ow! <sighs> Thanks for the heart attack! Oh, what? Did I scare you? Uh, oh. What about chance? Are bad. So how did it go? Did you get any leads? <laughs> uh, nope. Afraid not. The asking around thing was a total bust. Yep. This old mansion is our last hope. You guys ready? Another Twilight Town awaits. Yeah.
Here we go. The password was, uh, sea salt ice cream, right? Okay, I'm in. Let's get that transporter working. Uh, uh. Oh man, the transporter's been protected. Protected from what? I guess from us? We can't use it to get to the other Twilight Town. Why not? It worked before. We sent Sora there. Well, that was then, and this is now. And there's no other way? None that I know. Great. Uh, huh? Hello, Sora. You wouldn't happen to be in front of a computer. Huh? Well, yeah, but how do you know that? I was tinkering with Ansem's computer. You know, to decrypt the code that was left in it. And I noticed that someone had logged in from another terminal. I figured it might be you. Uh, oh, yeah, the log terminal. You don't know any slug. Oh, oh, and what? You do? <laughs> I know I haven't got a clue. <laughs> yep. Then, uh, who was it that logged in? Oh, hi there. This is Pence. I'm the one who logged into the computer. Good. As long as it's a user that we know we can trust. Yup. But I'm kind of stuck here. Hmm. One of the programs is protected, so I can't uh, run it. Which program? Uh, the transporter to the other Twilight Town. Uh, uh, it's the only way to find Roxas. You gotta help us. Another Twilight Town? And a transporter? Okay. A virtual town inside the computer made of data. A datascape? Fellas! Mm-hmm. We've seen one. That's what we used once to investigate Jiminy's journal. Maybe I can do something. Pence, let's get a network set up. My address here is... Okay, sharing is enabled. Huh? Were you able to fix it? Now that our two computers have been successfully networked together, I can take control of the terminal there and change the privileges. And Roxas? Yes. For the virtual world to be completely realized, Ansem the Wise would have included Roxas' full data in the construction. Meaning, somewhere on your machine there's a log of that data that... Uh, basically, we can decipher Ansem's code more quickly, and we can analyze the virtual Twilight Town while we're at it. Okay, great. I can't computer, so do that. Glad you're following along. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Chip and Dale will be helping me out here on this end. I'll call you back as soon as we know anything more. Thanks. Oh, before I forget, a bit of troubling news. It's about one of the organization's former members. You knew him as Vexen. But to us, he was Ansem's apprentice, Evan. He was recompleted like the rest of us. But hadn't regained consciousness yet. Then, sometime after Lee left, Evan vanished. Alias and Dylan, the two you knew as Lexius and Zaldin, they went out looking for him, but he's just gone. And I'm starting to worry. Oh? You think he's on their side? I think it's a real possibility. He's a devious researcher. You should be careful. All right. Thanks. Oh no! We got work! I totally forgot! Really? But what about all this? Hey, both are important. We're gonna need some cash to go to the beach. Also, don't forget the pretzels. Gotta buy four now. Hmm? Uh... Oh, I get it. He's thinking ahead. <laughs> 
Later, Sora. Yeah. See ya, Hainer. Bye, Donald. Goofy. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, and since I'm manning the computer here, you guys are in charge of earning my share. No pretzel for pence. <laughs> hey! <sighs> so, you think you can bring Roxas back? Oh. Handsome! Oh. Samness! Roxas should never have existed in the first place. What you seek is impossible. Roxas does exist. His heart's inside my heart. And in the unlikely event you did manage to separate the two, where is it you think you can put his heart? Well, Roxas used to live in the other Twilight Town, right? So, I'm just gonna put him back there. Do you even realize what you are saying? The other Twilight Town is just data. A heart can live anywhere, even inside data. There are hearts all around us. Hmm. Huh? Handsome and Xemnas used to be part of the same person, right? But look, now they exist separately just fine. Uh. If they can do it, then I don't see any reason why you and Roxas can't find a way. Oh, yeah! Yeah, you tell them, Captain Goofy! <laughs> In that case, by all means. Nothing would please us more than Roxas's return, of course. You wish? He'll never answer to you again. Still so blind. A nobody is what's left behind. When one gives his heart to darkness, there is only one way to bring Roxas back, which is for you to give your heart up as well. Sora, have you finally decided to call upon the darkness? <gasps> what? Go on then. The shadows are never out of reach. <sighs> now, set your heart free. Wait! Sora! It's not darkness. Not if it helps him. We got this. said he said with all my heart okay then all my heart it is I'm getting Roxas out 
Are you with me? Donald? Goofy? Huh? Yeah, you I, you. I don't know what Ansem and Xemnas want, but I think we better tell the others to watch out. Yeah. Okay then, let's head back to town. Hmm. Get quiet, Jack. Subway's head on under that. My bagpipes! It was you laddies who rescued my <laughs> chef! I can't go strong! Huh? Wait, didn't he sell ice cream in Hollow Bastion? That's right! But Uncle Scrooge here is what you might call a world traveler! Cool! <laughs> how are you, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, hello, Sora! You're looking hale and hearty! I heard you were on another grand adventure with these two. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Uh, why did you have to say that? So, Uncle Scrooge, what's that you were saying about a chef? Oh, right, right. The chef of me bistro here wanted to show you his appreciation. So, he baked this for you. Hmm. What is it? Wow! Cake! Hmm? The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I mean, uh, settle down. Uh, the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. He does? Why keep it under my hat? May I introduce Little Chef? Oh, oh it's you! Uncle Scrooge, you open the bistro and try on town. Aye. It all started a little while ago, when I was enjoying one of the best meals of my life. And when I asked to speak to the chef, I met this wee genius. As it turns out, he wanted to expand his culinary horizons. So I thought, that's an opportunity. And I financed the whole operation. Ooh, I think he wants to cook some more for you. Fetch some ingredients, especially anything unusual. That'll be fun, kind of like a scavenger hunt. And the more the better. The mark of a truly great chef 
is creating masterpieces out of anything. You can start right here in town. We'll do anything to try more of Little Chef's food. <laughs> that tart sure did look scrumptiously delicious. Okay, the ingredient hunt is on. Lads, you need to scrounge up some ingredients. Guess we're still short. Let's keep searching. You didn't have restaurant? I love that the town's so close to me. <laughs> Yeah. Little chef needs more ingredients. <laughs> we better keep an eye out. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Just imagine the yummy stuff Little Chef will whip up with this. Thank <laughs> you. 
somebody took off with Fu and Ryan. Yeah! We can't leave. Little Chef still needs our help. Yeah! My dad's taking us on a... I'm seriously craving ice cream. Hey, boss. Uh, Down with the posters. Uh -huh. Hey! Good work, kids. You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the Bistro? Um, do we? He gave us a short job putting up these special posters. Mr. McDuck's hosting an open-air film festival in the courtyard. Cool, huh? Uh -huh. Oh, Sora. Hold your phone up to the poster. Okay. There, you've just downloaded a promo game for the film. You can try it later. You can this, Uncle Scrooge? Of course, laddie. Provide a bit of entertainment, and then give folks a nice, cozy place to relax. Like my bistro here. They'll all be happy and hungry, and eager to spend their money. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Scrooge. Gore, she sure is canny. I always wondered how he keeps customers coming into his businesses over and over. Oh yeah, I'm no business guy, but I sure wouldn't want to be one of Uncle Scrooge's competitors. Seriously. <laughs> oh. oh, right. I need to warn you guys. Why? Well, those creepy crawly things might come back for more. So stay on your toes. Sure. But don't we have you guys to take care of him for us? You have to leave again? Mm-hmm. job! But we'll definitely be back. When are you gonna slow down? Sorry. Just do me a favor. Well, what is it? Don't make it too tough. I know how Roxas feels to be lost. But Donald and Goofy, Kyrie, brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. Mm -hmm. So, I was hoping the three of you would do the same and wish for Roxas. What? That's it? <laughs> That's no favor. We'll all wish. I'm wishing. Yeah. Me and Pence, too. <laughs> Thanks. Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes, just look at them. They wouldn't get far if we did not spell it out. Huh. Fair enough. But let's not forget how many times Sora still managed to rain on our parade. If he wavers from the path we lay, we destroy him. But in that case... We'll have to find ourselves another vessel. That is why we never have just one iron in the fire.
So this is the place. Where Aqua fell into the realm of darkness after she dove in to save Terra. Yeah. She said he was acting strange. Strange how, exactly? She sensed darkness in him. And they ended up getting into a big fight. Right. And in the aftermath, the two of them disappeared. Around the same time, the guards found a stranger with white hair lying unconscious here in the square. A man calling himself Xehanort. Ansem the Wise took the stranger in, but that was a mistake. Xehanort betrayed his master, stole his research, and along with his fellow apprentices, separated his heart from his body. Xehanort's heart took his master's name, Ansem, and traveled to the past to give his younger self instructions. He even briefly had control of you. His empty body stayed in the present, took the name Xemnas, and founded Organization 13. Their goal was to prepare 13 vessels for Xehanort's heart. Until we put an end to the organization. But all the while, young Xehanort had been visiting the future to choose 13 vessels of his own. Hearts with strong enough ties to him to begin a new organization. The real Organization 13. And now they're looking for a fight with us. But what happened to Terra? I thought you said that Aqua saved him. Yep, she did. The problem is we didn't notice. You remember the end of the Mark of Mastery exam? When Master Xehanort made his grand return? That's the Xehanort I remember. He was already a pretty old man then. But how do you explain Ansem and Xemnas, his heartless, and his nobody? Isn't it strange how young they look? Why aren't they old men? It's because Xehanort was using a different body when the split happened. That face from the portrait I mentioned? It wasn't just some stranger that Ansem the Wise took under his wing. It was the young man whose body Master Xehanort possessed. No way! That was Terra? Master Xehanort was using Terra? Yup. Master Xehanort told us another on our list belonged to him. He was talking about Terra. Turns out, Aqua saved more than just her friend that day. Okay. But Master Xehanort is an old man again now. Where did Terra's body go? Hmm. <gasps> it's because Master Xehanort's collecting vessels. He claimed to have Two of our seven lights. We got Sora back, but Terra must still be on Xehanort's side. He's with Organization 13? We should warn Sora. Yup! And Merlin too! Yeah.